What is up, YouTube? That's it here, bringing you guys the last set of games I have featuring this amazing quadruple attack team. Today's games are all going to be based around one of my favorite Pokemon in the 2020 format, Excadrill. I think it's a super, super cool Pokemon with amazing abilities and good defensive typing. And right now, I want to direct you guys to the question of the day. What is your favorite Excadrill moveset slash like EV spread, nature, everything to do with Excadrill? What's your favorite set? Do you like the Sand Force sets? The Sand Rush sets? Maybe the Mold Breaker? sets are you a fan of like focus sashes life orbs air balloons choice items let me know what your favorite extra drill set is for singles or doubles or maybe even both in the comments below i cannot wait to see the way you guys play this pokemon but yeah for today's games we have a ton of games this is a super long video this is the last one i have like i said for this team so i'm gonna wrap everything up in this video and then hopefully in the next video we'll be moving on to something brand new and i'll be able to blow your guys's uh you know like I'm gonna be able to blow your, I guess, ideas of what you even think VGC 2020 could look like with the next team that I have to use. But I want to say thank you so much for sticking by me, uh, even though I uploaded like I know six or seven videos featuring this team. It's just that I really, really like this team, and I've been working on it for a tournament to go to. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the games. Don't forget to answer the question of the day, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, we got Alex using Tokus Chandler, Corviknight, Whimsicott, Golade, and Duraludon. Ooh, Duraludon's very, very good against my team. Um, like, Tokus Duraludon's actually really, really good against my team. Let's see. I'm gonna go Sableye. Sableye's quite good. I think Sableye Titar is still just super solid here. So we got Sableye and Transar. The reason I like, why I like attract on both these Pokemon is because they're dark types, which means you cannot like prankster taunt them with the Whimsicott. We outspeed the Corviknight uh, with both these things anyway, so we're really, really good. So Titar Sableye is quite good here in certain situations. Uh, let's see what else we want to bring. I do think that uh, Excadrill, Togekiss are quite good in the back. I could also see arguments being made for Butterfree on this team, but I do think that Excadrill, Togekiss are really, really good. If we want to play it the correct way. Uh, there's there's arguments made for Corsola being very, very good in this team too. Uh, instead of the Tyranitar. Uh, being able to use Attract and like Strength Sap and just sit on the board literally forever. Could be really, really good. If they didn't have a Chandelure. If they had something that wasn't like a Ghost or Dark type. I would have definitely brought the Corsola instead of the Titar. So you look like a beat up team. Well, you know what? <laughs> Can't use beat up if you're Attractamundo to Chief. So let's see. Togekiss, Chandelure. Probably the Togekiss is going to be Dynamax in here. Right now, they're looking at this, and they're like, where's the sandstorm? What happened? All right, let's see. New, too, ner too nervous to eat berries. And they're both male. Which means we got to pop one of these. Quasharino. Attract. You'll love it. I love it. It's so good. I don't care if you burn my teeth. I got a lumberry chief. Let's go. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Energy ball. Lamau. Energy ball. Lamau. Actually, that's not Lamau. That's a lot of damage. That's quite a bit of... Can you not do that much damage every time? Let me actually think about this. Have you seen the team with Mudsdale, Grimmsnarl? Uh, I have. I think it's okay. I think there's better ways to do it. Dazzling Gleam! Yo, Never Lucky! We got Never Lucky! First turn. First turn, Never Lucky. Hate to see it. That's a Specs Togekiss or Life... It's either Specs or Life Orbed. Um, the Life Orb. There we go. That's probably the game. That's probably the game. Uh, we have a couple shots here. But that's quite... Unfortunate. What do you think of Hex Willow's Dragapult set? It's not good. Takes too much uh, setup. Takes too much setup. He's going to Dynamax. With the Togekiss, I think. Let me think about what I want to do here. <sighs> yeah, that, that fucking was terrible. We're going to Encore the Chandelier. Hopefully, he Dynamaxes with the Togekiss. And we can get a one-shot. That was... Never, never, ever lucky. And it's a Life Orb Togekiss. Like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I want him to Dynamax Togekiss. We might be able to still get a KO. And then the Chandelier, I want it to stick using Energy Ball. So that's Dynamax at first is good. I don't know. We'll see what we got. We got a little bit unlucky in that situation. I think the Chandelier might also be, like, choiced. Because, like, that Energy Ball did a lot. Like, why would you have Energy Ball if you're not choice? Like, why would you be using Energy Ball on, like, a Sash Shandy? Why would you bring Shandy if it wasn't, if, like, you, it wouldn't, it's not Sash. The only reason he would Dynamax here is if he Specs. Alright, cool. Everything's going according to plan. Everything's going according to plan. 
I need to like one shot this Togekiss, by the way. And I'm thinking it's like full sweeper set, so I might be able to get it off. Encore, just in case. I don't want to mix it up. Like I think it's specs, but I'm doing this just to make sure. What do you think of G Max Butterfree, Obstacle, Togekiss, Arcanine, Special Dragapult, G Max Nox? I don't think that's what is it? I dis think <laughs> that uh Obstacle's good. You shouldn't use Obstacle. Even like a Bishrop would be better. Let's go. Please just give me a KO on this thing. <sighs> I needed to go away. I need that thing. I needed it gone. He's probably gonna go for like a max heat wave thingy. Ah, oh, that sucks. Max, uh, max flare, yeah. It's not gonna do like a ton, a ton, but like still, I wanted it gone. The good thing is we outspeed, and I do have, what is it? What do I have in the back? Sableye, Titar, Excadrill, Togekiss. I mean, I could, I could get something out of this. His, his, uh, what is it? His chandelier is stuck using energy ball, so I think this is actually okay. I need to air slash there. I was thinking about like mixing it up a little bit. Yeah, if he wants, I don't think he, I don't think he'll max guard. I mean, we'll see. He's stuck using energy ball. If anything, he'll switch out the chandelier. I think, but I think the chandelier is choice. It, it's either choice or sash. But if it was sash, like you wouldn't bring it for Titar. So we'll see. He's withdrawn. It's totally choice, right? Yeah, Obstacle's not that hot. That Pokemon's not that great. I can't believe we just let his G-Max go down. I think sometimes you just gotta, like, hold the L. You know what I mean? He's like, well, Togekiss is a lot more valuable if I saved it, you know? Like, and this gives me a defense boost. Like, there, are, he could have literally switched the Drew on in, in that slot. And just let Chandler do whatever. Or switch out, go for, like, a double switch or something. But in, in this situation, like, now I can just use my max attack on your Drew Ludon, you know? This will check for leftovers. I mean, very rarely do they have it, but, you know, it checks for eject button, uh, it checks for, uh, you know, leftovers, other stuff like that. What do you think about G-Max Grimmsnarl? Uh, it's not legal. If it becomes legal, I mean, I think Prankster's really good. But I don't know if you'd use Prankster on that set. Alright, so he's gentle out there. The thing is, like, I think I kind of want to just follow me, but I don't know if he's going to heat wave. I kind of want to just air slash, but I don't think I'm fast enough. Um, who's more of a threat? I think that actually the Shandor is more of a threat. I think I'm actually going to Dazzling him to break Sash on Shandy, if it is that, and just go for a Max Quake. He'll also give me a special D-boost. Like, what is Druidon going to do? He's going to hit my Togekiss? Okay. Heat Wave. Oh, he's so fast! Is it Scarf? Are you El Scarfo? It's hard to say. Chandler is slower than Excadrill, so yeah, it must, it must be Scarf. Yeah, the fact that he got one shot, it means it's totally Scarf. I'll take that specialty boost my Togekiss, Chief. If my Togekiss outspeeds this Drill Udon, we can win the game. Let's see, though. That was also boosted by the power of the sun. Who's going first? Flash Cannon! Oh, man. I mean, if you just one shot... Uh, is he going to one-shot me? I don't think he one-shots. No. Weakness policy's up. This could one-shot him back. The fact that he didn't target my Exodrill means... We're in a good spot! Give me that boost, boys. Remember that special D boost that I got from the Max Quake? It's pretty significant. I'm rocking big boosts right now. Oh my goodness, we be taking those. The comeback. That was a comeback. I mean, what, let's see. I'm out of uh, Dynamax turns. Corviknight. Yo, I got one of those Togekisses, Chief. You ever heard of a Togekiss? I got one. You want to borrow it? And there's the sun up. All I got to do is hit a uh, heat wave, and I'm in a pretty decent spot. Look at, look at all the boosts on my Togekiss right now. Like, look at it. Oh, look at all those boosts. It's got to stick to your guns. Heat wave and... Uh, it's actually a better idea to... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, do it. I'm going to horn drill him. Just because I want to. I want it! Ah! <laughs> oh, well. All right. It's fine. He ain't sashed. I want the horn drill anyways. Yeah, we take those wins. The comebacks were real. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Sableye and Corsola are very good here. But the thing about Sableye Corsola is that's a very low power board. So it's like it doesn't really get much done. Versus like Sableye Titar can get a lot of stuff done. So I think we actually still bring Sableye Titar. Uh, we still bring the Corsola. What type of team would you consider this? Stall? No, it's not Stall. 
This is a meme yeah, team. Right. It's a gimmick team. Right. Is Butterfree good here? I think Exodrill is just the best last Pokemon here. Yeah. All right, let's go. Exodrill is still really, really good here. All right. And you know, it's the easiest way to get a Flame Orb. I don't even know. I don't have one yet. Hatterene is just better than Guard. I see anyone run Guard this skin. Uh, Hatterene and Gardevoir have completely different like stat lines. So like Hatterene is a better Trick Room setter than Gardevoir is, but Gardevoir is a better Sweeper than Hatterene is. I love that trainer's outfit. That's so good. Togekiss Charizard. All right. All right, Chief. Love that. And they're both shiny. Wow, this person been putting in some work. We got T-Tar. We got T-Tar. Are you ready to get beat down? Are you ready to get Barry beat down right now? I'm going to definitely attract that Togekiss. And let me think about what I actually want to do. I don't want to use attract because he can use follow me. I actually think I'm just going to Rock Slide, because you can't follow me a Rock Slide. He could Dynamax with his Charizard and hit my Sableye. That would suck. But if he's hitting the Sableye, I don't care, because he's not hitting my T-Tar, so Rock Slide's better. Alright. Yeah. Rock Slide. Let's see it. I'm one of the few people running Guard. I mean, I've ran Guard a lot this Gen 2. I ran Guard in a video, like, last week. Whimsicott, yo, I can attract that too. And he can't encore me or like taunt me or do anything because I'm a dark type. It's such good defensive synergy. Let's go 50% of the time. What do you got, Chief? 50% of the time? Survey says never lucky. 50% of the time, never lucky. That's right. 50% of the time lucky, 50% of the time never lucky. Rock sides go up though. Hopefully, are we gonna park a weakness policy on this kiss? Let's see it. Nope. Alright. I will use attract over there then. You get an attract, and you get an attract. And you get a, another rock slide. All right. I mean, I think if I needed to get a flame orb, I could. I have a team that uses Conkledor that I want to use soon, but I don't think I need a flame orb, like, this week. But I'll get one soon, I'm sure. But the attract's about to be real here. The double attract. He's he's going for like a Moonblast with Wombscott this turn. That's why this is able to work. Because like, what would Wombscott use? Tailwind? Well, no. Doesn't really need it. His Prankster would go first over mine, but he can't Prankster because both my mons are Dark types. Do so you see how the strat works here? Let's go. Double immobilized by love. You'll love to see it. You know what? You'll love to see double Rock Slide. Oh my goodness. Double Sashes. All right. Doesn't really matter what I want to use in this situation. I think you actually just quash the Togekiss, because that way you get a guaranteed double KO with T-Tar. Unless you, like, Moonblast your Whimsicott, and then you just, like, Moonblast your T-Tar and, like, crits us. Yeah. You can get Flame Orb for 7 bucks on eBay. No, that's a hacked Flame Orb. Not worth. I only use legit stuff. But he might switch. What, are you switching a Charizard on my Rock Slide? Love to see it. From the end of the game tournaments for three days to get one Flame Orb. Wow. I don't know why you guys would buy items. If you kill a ball guy, he drops the flame orb. <laughs> oh man, the flame orb is his, it's his, uh, the burning soul of man, like Dark Souls, right? I'm surprised I haven't, I haven't seen, like, Dark Souls references with, like, ball guy with the flame orb. The dark soul of man is the flame orb. My coffee's melting, I have to drink it fast. Guys, what should I have for lunch today? Hmm. He's gonna follow me. No, he's not immobilized. Oh, Quash fails because uh, he used a priority move. And that's how, that's how you know it's a priority move. is because they have the act before my Sableye did. But the double, the triple immobilized that turn. Qua Mega KO right here. And again, we can just go for more priority attracts. We can go for Quash attracts if there's something of an opposite gender. But we'll see. What do you guys think? What do you think we're going to be going up against here? Move this up a little bit more. Have fish. I don't really just eat fish all that often. Not in California. Not in like Northern California. I guess not super Northern California. Lots of love. Yes. All right. Do you remember when Paul got was your favorite NPC? I mean, I'm craving sushi. I actually had sushi for lunch yesterday. Excadrill. All right. I can't. I can't use attract on that one. That's a cool looking shiny, by the way. I can use Attract on none of these. Sableye, you're useless. Sableye, you're big useless. I mean, we might as well just go for like a Quash. Quash the Excadrill. And use... Just Rock Slide. 
Ooh, Quash Extra Drill and Attract Extra Drill could be really good. Hmm. I'm okay with using Attract in the Extra Drill. I think that's actually a really solid play. I mean, he could Dynamax with Charizard and go for, like, a Grass Attack into my T-Tar, I guess. Tacos are probably what it's going to be. Yeah, it's probably going to be Tacos. All right, Quash is up. I wonder if he's actually going to attack the Sableye. Heat Wave, that is not it. So he's attacked the Sableye. He shouldn't be able to uh, KO the T-Tar. He might burn the T-Tar, which means my track will be an even better play than the Rock Slide was. All right, he's Orbed. Okay. And it tracks up. Will we be able to live? Are you immobilized by love? Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around. Oh, it's not there. Holy moly, we got Dumpster that turn. Tract was really good, though. Didn't work this turn, but, like, it's fine. I thought he was going to Dynamax with something, so, like, I didn't want to use, like, a... I did not want to proc it, like, a Charizard weakness policy. That was not what I was about. All right. Let's see. I think I'm just going to Rock Slide and Attract. I could even Dynamax. I haven't Dynamaxed yet. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to kill that Charizard. Yeah, he's not Air Balloon or anything. Okay. So we're going to use Attractorino on that guy. And we're going to Dynamax Rock Fall into the Charizard. Should still be able to kill it. The Cuber 87. How's it going, friend? All right, we're Dynamaxing. I think we're going to be good here, though. You guys think we're going to be able to get some big wins up right now? That, like, EQ would do a whole crap ton of magic. That's why I'm Dynamaxing this turn. So, like, I don't just get one-shotted. You looking at Flamer from the ball guy? Yeah. I don't remember how exactly. I would love to get a curse body on this move. But that's why we Dynamaxed. I don't think Heat Wave will KO us. I don't think it will. Oh, dummy thick right now. Dummy thick. Yo, I had to get that, by the way. Charizard goes down for the count. Hopefully. Please dissipate, Mushu. All right. And now he's attracted on the extra drill. We can also will wisp the extra drill. Uh, we should be able to grind out the extra. The Charizard's more of a problem because it's a fire type. You can't burn the fire types. But as far as uh, extra drill goes, of course, this is going to be pretty good. All right. That's a lot of... Actually, we need to strength sap him, don't we? Do we need to strength sap? We took a lot of damage from the heat wave. Yeah, we need to use strength sap once. And then we'll max quake. We should just be able to get max quake. We're going to get an immobilize. We're going to get max quake. We're going to KO him 100% of the time. Every time feeling fine. He's Dynamax and Oh man, he's going for it. Every five tournament wins, there will be a roll for the flame war. Pay attention to the way he dances before it. I didn't know that. I mean, does it matter which way he dances? You know? You're going to have to do him anyways, right? Please be immobilized, my guy. He's got a G-Max King War. I've never even seen one. All right. Love is in the air. Oh! You know what else is in the air? Speed ties. That's right. How's it going, Philip? You look well rested since the last time I caught you on stream. Well, thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you so much. You know what? Take those wins. Take those critical hits, guys. Put some wins up. Extra drill. Not a match for me. Not, not a match for me. Extra drill Corsola. Too strong. Much too strong. I think you kind of got to go Togekiss as much as I don't want to. Titar is also quite good. Just for the attract. But, like, I don't think we need it. I think Togekiss is fine. All right. Let's go. Here we go. We're going to be using Adrenaline or Butterfree. Please lead Hitmontop. I have literally T-Tar Excadrill. Just bring your Hitmontop, Chief. It's not that hard. Don't you, want free, don't you want those free wins? Just lead Hitmontop and everything will be okay. Haven't played any multiplayer ever. Never made a comp team or anything. Wow. Well, hopefully, hopefully Sword and Shield turns things around. You get into the competitive play. Let's see what we see, though. All right. Extra T-Tar. Man, come on, man. Not even gonna lead with the good Pokemon. It's all right, Butterfree. Butterfree doesn't want to deal with this. Butterfree is just gonna switch out. Air Balloon Titar, okay. Wish I protect on this Butterfree, but I don't. Switch in there. Use Attract there. You'll love it. You'll love to see. Attract to X control. It's so good. I guess it's not Dynamaxing either. Alright, Mold Breaker. 
That's right. Rock slide. That's totally fine. You better not flinch me. You better not flinch my course, a chief. Curse body. That's right. Oh, I can bring. I can bring Butterfree in. <laughs> Crunch. Oh, he wants my course, slow. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm so thick though. Look how thick I am right now. Curse my double curse body poggers. <laughs> and the attract goes off. Oh my gosh. Double curse body. What is that? That's pretty good. That's quite good. All right, let me think about what I want to do with this extra drill. I don't think that teeter has a ground attack. I think I can actually get away with just like rock sliding. Or even iron heading. I don't want to break. Oh, he doesn't have... Yeah, I'm just going to... I think I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. Let's go. Curse body is so good. I want to try and one-shot that T-Tar. I don't think I can, but I think it's worth a shot. I think giving myself a defense boost will actually really, really be a good play here. If he wants to protect T-Tar and try and, like, EQ with his Excadrill, that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. But we'll see if this works. Well, I mean, that, that would be the play, I would say. So we'll see. He's trying something. What do you got, Chief? Oh, no moves left. What? Oh, he was choiced. Yo, the struggle is real. What? The cursed body attract into struggle. What is that? What even is that? Yo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, 100% cursed body destroyed this man's whole life. He's, he's banded. And now we're a full. I think he tried to kill the Corsola. Because remember guys... Uh, struggle isn't a type move. He would have actually KO'd the core solo with struggle. So for those of you guys thinking he's really bad, that was actually totally the play there. It sucks he hit the wrong Pokemon, but yeah, that was that was the right play in that situation. But it's funny. It's really funny. And let's see uh, what's his next mon. No oh, man, that was hilarious. That was so funny. Is it gonna be him on top? Melodic. All right. And another male Pokemon, I see. I see another male Pokemon. I see another juicy target for... Attract. Why didn't he Dynamax? He should have Dynamaxed, yeah. But no, he. I understand what he was going for. He wanted to use a struggle. He wants to save his Dynamax for the Melodic, right? It's greedy. He didn't have to Dynamax. Because especially, remember, he's also attracted. It's a 50-50 if even, or with drop. He could have withdrew, but again, he wanted to take the KO on the core solo. Like, if I was in his, his situation, I probably would have done the same thing, because it's hilarious. Is he hit him on top now? Togekiss, perfect. He thought I was going to hit the Melodic. Nope, don't care about Melodic. This is the this is the Pokemon that I want to deal with, is this extra drill. Yo, the struggle is real! You can keep hitting that guy all you want. Three Pokemon that would be good to finish off my Trick Room Doubles team. Hatterene, Entity, Conkledur... Uh, Ferrothorn. I don't think Entity Hatter... I don't think you should run the Entity in Hatterene. Have you guys seen the Trick Room teams I do? Everyone has counters for that. There's so many better ways to do it. I don't think that you should run Follow Me Trick Room. Because, like, it never works, either. It only ever works if they're bad. You give this man too much credit, you should give every opponent as much credit as they deserve. Don't sleep on anyone. Never sleep on your opponents. And then Tokus comes in, takes that little hail damage. Or not hail, uh, sandstorm damage. Yeah, he could have killed the course off with struggle. Yeah, that's right. Because remember, that's it's right. a typeless move. Yo, Lucky Lou zero, 0 appreciate it. How do I run Trick Room? I run Trick Room. Um, I just put Trick Room on my team. You just use fake outs, you use correct speed tunes, you use good board positioning. Guys, you don't need to set Trick Room on the first turn. Did you know that? Did you actually know that you don't need to set Trick Room on the first turn? It's not required. I'm actually going to go for a Steel Spike there. And track over here. I'm trying to make a team around Special Super Meowstic. Hmm. Do you have to use that? <laughs> I don't think that's a good Pokemon either. I think it's a better Pokemon. I think, like, Male Entity is, like, way better than Special than like special Meowstic. Add some question on Check Room 2. I've been running Hatterene Entity. Like, don't run Entity. It's not... You d you're literally wasting one of your Pokemon to get a Trick Room up immediately when all you could do, like, if you were to run an Intimidator instead, you could, uh, lead with, like, Hatterene and literally any other Pokemon. Let's say you lead Hatterene Conkledur, right? And then what if, like, they're like, all right, I'm gonna go with my big Steel Attack into your Hatterene. Well, just switch out your Hatterene for Arcanine, and then 
How can I layer up and intimidate? You get a free whatever you want with your Conqueror pack of guts. Then later, turns two, three, four, you bring your Hatterene in when their uh, they've their Dynamax is worn off. Uh, you know their board state isn't what it actually needs to be to deal with the Hatterene. And then you set your Trick Room and then you win the game. Hatterene Whimsicott, and that doesn't do anything. Steel Spike. I want this toke is gone. Oh, never lucky. Happy New Year, yes. Happy a New Year. Let's see what Tokus can actually get done here. There's this Barry. The one time we don't have a uh, teacher on the board. But yeah, like, um, did anyone look at the videos for my, um, did anyone look at the videos featuring the Eevee team that I posted on Patreon yet? That's how I like to play Trick Room. You don't need to Trick Room on the first turn. What are Pokemon to surround Cursula with not trying to run Trick Room in any capacity? Uh, are you trying to use Parish Trap, or are you just running Cursula? Because, like, Cursula is just a ghost type. It covers really... Cursula isn't a Pokemon that you surround Cursula with to cover up for Cursula's weaknesses. You, run... you surround Cursula with Pokemon like Lucario, with Tyranitar, uh, Excadrills, things like that. Alright. Um, I think we're just going to Iron Head the Excadrill and go for a will -O -S. You don't want to ever Icy when to Molohot it, guys. just because it'll proc the competitive and then you'll just get dumpstered. Iron heads up. I don't say everyone's name. I sometimes say thank you. And never lucky. I think Cursula still could wall this melodic. I don't know if it has recover, right? Well, this is up. But once it's out of Dynamax mode, we should be fine. Yeah. You don't need to set your speed control on the first turn. Like, that's very rarely the play. I come with any of these, but I'm going to come with Butterfree. Because I want to. I think people are much too, like, trigger happy putting up those statuses. Or putting up that speed control. I think they're much too, like, trigger happy. It's gonna go for Hurricane. It's fine. I need to just keep this thing on the board. I don't want to use Strength Sap either. That really kind of sucks. I don't really have any other move to use, but I need to keep this on the board. So I just get you got to keep going like that. Is besides Mato better with Swift Swim or Water Absorb? Um, Swift Swim usually. Usually Swift Swim. Can you confuse? Can you not third times attack in a row? Yo, man, this guy's not afraid of love. Melodic. I thought you were supposed to be. I thought. I thought you people were supposed to be jolly. But I can't use, like, Strength Sap. I can't use Icy Wind. Alright, I have, like, four turns left on Butterfree. Doesn't really matter what move I use on Corsola. I guess it's technically better to use um, Strength Sap on my Butterfree. Because it would let me just get some health back. So I'll do that. What do you think of Flatter Grimstar with Timid Own Tempo into D? I mean, that'd be fun. That see, that's the type of stuff that I don't I don't mind. I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna strength sap my own butter free. Just get some health back. I remember we saw Tokus. The only reason why we didn't send Tokus out there was because I wouldn't uh I can start going for like uh flinch towns, like uh, air slashes, and I wanted to wait until after his Dynamax so I can start actually flinching it. Scald, wow, this this Melodic is attacked like five times. I th four or five times. This should make my strength sap miss, not get redirected to melodic. Yep, perfect. You do not want to hit the melodic. And I, I do think the air slash could probably do it. We might have to use one icy one to make it slower than our tokus, but I don't think so. I think it should just be slower than us. What do you guys think? I think it's slower. <laughs> All right, come on. Air Slash. And Strength Sap into our Togekiss. If that Melody gets one competitive boost, so we could totally lose. He is faster. Wow, is it protecting? Immobilized. All right, well, just go away. Just go away. How, the, how about that? Please just dissipate. Oh, we got him. We got him, boys. And we got the Strength Sap for good measure. Just get a little bit more health. Top us off. You'll love to see us topped off there. 100%. And then the ice plus the burn 
Does the burn tick before the, uh... Let me see, does the burn tick? No, the burn ticks before leftovers. But burn does the same amount as leftovers. I, I hate the nerf to burn, man. I hate it. Used to do so much more. Used to do so much more. He's gonna probably pop a recover this turn. We're just gonna degleam. And since we have to do that, we actually want to Icy Wind here. Since we, it sucks we're proccing one, but it's going to be okay. Yeah, he's, he's uh, trying to recover here. Mobilized by love. Perfect, we take those. Wins all went all the way up. You'll love to see it. So in case you uh, actually was not immobilized, used to recover that turn, went up high. We're going to Dazzling him and Chip again. We're going to Icy Wind to slow him down, right? Uh, it would give him a competitive boost, but then we outspeed with Tokus. Then we can just start going with uh, Air Slash to win the game. So we take those wins. That was a good one. That was a good win. Oh, look, a bunch of male Pokemon. It'd be a shame. <laughs> It'd be a shame. I actually kind of want to go like T-Tar Excadrill. Actually, I'm going to try T-Tar Excadrill. Oh, do I want to go T-Tar Excadrill? Because he can't use... um, He can't use his berry. Actually, wait, the correct play is this then. Excadrill with... Uh, Corsola. Yeah, because we can still get the what we want off. Extra drill Corsola. We still go the T-Tar. And then we're, I think, Togekiss? Yes. Perfect. Is Guts Obscune any good? It's not great. I don't know why you guys like that Pokemon. It has, like, too many weaknesses and bad offensive typing. I feel like you're building a team that doesn't have uh, theme Gyarados and Arcanine. I feel like if you're building a team that doesn't have a theme, Gyarados and Arcanine always will work. Yeah, you can always throw Gyarados and Arcanine in a team, yeah. Corsola taking bodies with its attractive set. Yeah, man. I've been underwhelmed every Corsola I face, but this set is busted. Yeah, no, this set's really good. Um, it's pretty much the exact opposite of Tyranitar, right? So Tyranitar is our main attract user. Corsola is our secondary attract user, but, like, they're weak against the exact opposite things. So, like, you can't really check you. I know you hate Gory and Weezing. What about using Eevee like Coughing and Corsola busted? I think that that could be fun. If someone were to do calcs, like, there's a lot of Pokemon that you'd think would have really good Eevee light forms, but just don't. Like, uh, Alola Muck, for example, is one of, like, the best Pokemon in, you know, VDC 2017-2018. But, like, Eevee light Grimer is garbage. So, it's like, there's certain times when it's really bad and really good. What would be a good Pokemon to compliment Mimikyu and Lucario? So, Mimikyu, think about it. You got weaknesses to, uh, you know, Ghost, weaknesses to Steel, uh, weakness to that stuff. So, like, maybe Pokemon that mitigate that damage. Arcanine is very good there. Um... Ferrothorn can eat those very well. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Lucario? I mean, Mimikyu is a good uh, compliment for Lucario. Anyways, we see Hatterene, Mr. Mime. So, yeah. What we're going to do here, I don't know if that Mr. Mime gets, like, Fake Out or can pop Reflex. Don't really care. We're going to be Dynamaxing. Max Steel Spiking the Hatterene. Hopefully, it's not Sash. Hopefully, it's the Barbie Berry. The berry that makes it so you can't um, eat your Steel. Sorry. The berry that makes it so you mitigate Steel attacks. That's what I think it's going to be. So, we're going we're gonna to play to that. We're going to switch in our Tranitar. It's going to activate the Unnerve, which means you can't activate your berries. And we're going to dumpster this Hatterene with our Dynamax. And we're Dynamaxing so he can't fake out us. The only way that this actually gets stopped is by, like, Protect Reflect or... Oh, he's switching out. Is it Intimidate? Melodic. No, that ain't it. All right. Buy Pokken? Agree. Pokken busted. Actually, I plan on streaming some Pokken next week. Do you guys want to stick around for that? Anyways, we're doing this. Remember, it makes it so we can't eat those berries. And it's steel reduced berries. Very, very common on Hatterene. The only, like, way that this we lose here is it's a Sash Hatterene, right? And I don't think it is. Sash Hatterene is not the sauce. Yeah, I stream Pokken. Actually, I play a lot of Pokken. You'd be surprised. Pokken's busted. So let's see how much damage we deal here. Please go away. If we just one-shot it, it has to be Steel Reduce Berry. Oh my gosh, he ate it? What? Okay, well then we just lose. <laughs> He's gonna get his TR up. That's really bad. That's quite bad. Yeah, Trick Room. I thought I could one-shot it, didn't you? Who would have thought that we could have one-shotted that? He's like full HP defense. And it, our extra is not full attack, but I still thought we could one-shot, so... I guess that's my fault. You still want to nuke? You actually, you want to nuke it in the Melodic, don't you? Melodic's male? I don't have to nuke it in Melodic. I can just max quake that Hatterene to finish it off and go for... Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy! How's it going, Diamond? How's it going? I should be switching out my T-Tar, but it's okay. I think we can actually get away with this attract here. He's not going to Dynamax with the Hatterene, so he's going to go for, like, Scald, or he's going to go for, like, a Max Geyser into the Excadrill and probably, like, uh, a uh, Dazzling Beam. 
I would say. We're doing this just to get the Hatterene off the board. I think Hatterene is actually more of a threat than it looks like, because you can't attract it. Magic Bounce is pretty busted. He's obviously Dynamax and the Melodic, but we can use... We have two Pokemon that can attract that thing. Fellow Charizard main. Yes! Charizard busted. It'd be cool if we undersped this Melodic, but I don't think we do. Alright, Mystical Fire. Yo, that's fine. He Mystical Fired his Melodic! Give us... That's... I don't think that's how that works, Chief. Yeah, that's uh, not how competitive works. <laughs> it has to be opponents! He tried... You gotta compliment him for trying, but like... He tried to practice on competitive, but it doesn't work that way. He just lowered his special attack. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. What a guy, yeah. Did he misclick? No, he tried to proc his Mollox competitive, but only opponents can proc that. So Adrian's gonna go down for the count. That was funny. He's like, what do you mean it doesn't work? He actually got lucky getting that Max Geyser off, by the way. You hate to see it? No, you love to see it. That was hilarious. A Scavalier. Oh, another male Pokemon I see. I actually need to protect with my T-Tar. And go for... I actually think I'm gonna Steel Spike. Let me think about this. I think you actually steal Spike that as Cavalier to give yourself a defense boost. Because we're not going to KO, right? Yeah. He has to rework his whole team. Or he has to just not do that, you know. We're protecting here because we need to have T-Tar get the double attracts off. So, like, I don't care if he hits our extra drills. He's Iron Heading. Yeah, that's totally yeah, fine. Right. I'd rather him do that than, like, Mega Horning. Right. So... This is totally fine. Don't really care what his Melodic uses because that Pokemon's useless and mobilized by love. Do you run Support Butterfree or Bulky or Speedy? Uh, I run Speedy Butterfree. All right. Cool, cool. Give me that defense boost in my T-Tar so we can live through pretty much everything. And then we'll get another Attract off. That's right. That's right. Attract is so good. Do you understand, like, the level? Like, everyone's like, LOL, attract, haha. -ha. But, like, do you understand how oppressed you feel when, like, your Pokemon are attracted? You're like, the correct play is to switch. That's always the play. The play is to switch when you get attracted. Do you have anything worth switching into here? I kind of wish I made Corsola into a Jelly Scent, but I think the Corsola is still a little bit better. In this situation, Jelly Scent would be busted. But then it would add another Electro Venus to my team. I think we're just going to horsepower the S Cavalier and go for an attract. I think Bulky Butterfree is usable, just not in this team. Close combat. Oh, he had close combat the whole time? Bro, it's okay. We're dummy thick. We had that the whole... He didn't use that last turn. Good thing we got that defense boost, right? Tracks up. Another one. But yeah, the correct play is to switch. But, like, you really want to switch? Waste turns off your own trick room? I can always re-put it back up. Wow, and a max geyser. This guy's actually literally popping off right now. Boosted by the rain. Hit the wrong target, though. Four times super effective? I mean, it was four times super effective, but, like, I'm four times super bulky. Get that guy out of here. We attracted? All right, now now it's going to be working. He'd even be more upset if he tried to do the sticky web court change combo with the melodic. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right, uh, I think we're just going to rock slide. Rock slide. I mean, is uh, Trick Room gone? Last turn of the Room of Death. We're actually going to double rock slide. Actually, I think I'm just going to protect my T-Tar. Because he has to get the T-Tar off the board, right? So, like, I'm just going to protect. It's a very attractive T-Tar. Yo, actually, every single video I have, tomorrow's video features a T-Tar thumbnail. Every single Tarantar thumbnail I've made is so good. I think Tarantar... I'm super happy that I'm building teams around T-Tar and not playing it, like, the way that everyone plays it. Like, I, I won't use weakness policy. Like, I haven't used weakness policy. Um, I plan on using, like... I haven't, like, scarfed it. I haven't sashed it. Like, all my T-Tar sets have been crazy unique, I feel. And that's awesome. I think it's super cool. Yo, did he just double? Oh, he actually hit the extra roll. That's actually... Oh, I can't believe that KO. Is that a crit? Wow, wow, wow. It's okay. We still have good Pokemon in the back. Dimensions have returned to normal. I, will... I don't know if I can stack a tract. I don't think I can. I don't think I can stack it, but I'd like to. That'd be pretty sick. At this point, we're just going to go with uh, 
I think you don't have to deeply match. I think I can get away with going like air slash and rock slide. Rock slide will be able to kill this cavalier. It's neutral damage. I love T-Drop. I don't use them as much as I ever use them. But yeah, but it's up to it's up to us to like use them in different ways. Do you understand? It's up to us to like adapt the meta and try and find like cool ways to do it. There we go. There's always different ways to do it. Like we're using an unnerve attract T-Tar. Do you understand how crazy that is? You know, put yourself in this guy's shoes, by the way. He's attracted. He's immobilized. He's getting flinched. Helping hand right period. <laughs> that's that's weird. LRB T-Tar EV spread. This is a good T-Tar EV spread. Also, if you guys want to see the EV spread for this team, uh, you can check it out. Um, let me see. Do I have a video with featuring this team's EVs yet? I think I already do. I think it's actually up on the Patreon, but I'll link that a little bit later. Mr. Mime! Another Pokemon that is primed. I actually think that you want to follow me this turn. I don't know how fast Mr. Mime is. I will follow me this turn, right? I am going to do it this turn. These are my last... No, I still have, I have still a Pokemon left. Yeah, I'm just going to follow me this turn. If the worst case scenario, he's just going to proc my weakness policy. Special T-Tar is fun. I think it is fun. What do you think of Flashfire Arcanine next to Gyarados? I don't think... I don't think you need it. He actually went for the fake out. Okay. Yeah, he has to deal with Rock Slide, Air Slash, Hacks. Yeah. T-Tar flinched. Immobilize, survey says... Dragon Tail. Well, Mao! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah, you do that. You you do Dragon Tail. That's funny. He's like, I just want to attack. <laughs> he's going for protects. Oh, man, he's trying. He has to be so upset. Good. That's that's what this team does. It makes you play on tilt. This is like a completely different type of hacks that like players don't usually have to deal with. And the thing is, since you're so not used to dealing with it, everyone just thinks that like, I'm losing to someone who's bad. That's what they think. Found a goldfish. That's awesome. They literally just think the whole time, like, I'm literally losing to someone who's terrible. <laughs> And it, that's what makes it so much better. Like, imagine imagine you're playing against me. It's at a regional. It's round five. We're at, the fir we're at table one undefeated. And I'm busting out this crazy ass, like, multiple attract team. You'd be like, what the hell is this? What the hell is that weakness policy? That's right. Weakness policy up. And, now, and like, imagine, keep playing. You keep playing. Every single turn gets worse for this man. Literally every single turn has been worse for him. Uh, like the attracts, the uh, the the turn where he hit his own melodic, the the flinches, the redirection into the dragon tail. Now he procked my weakness policy, and now all of his other Pokemon are attracted. Oh, it's so good. It's like he'd be he, it's like he'd be expecting Primal Kyogre, and I would be using like Scarf Attract Kyogre. <laughs> I think that this just KOs both of them. Even if you even you Dragon Tails, I think he's gone. I think he's just gone. Let's go. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. Let's see what you got, Chief. Immobilized by love. That's right. You got round two. Round two. Immobilized by love. Oh my gosh, that perfect wall. That's a plus two dazzling beam coming in right here. Big damage on both that side. Rock side, pretty good. Oh my goodness, look at that humongous, humongous damage. And doesn't it just feel like, you know, the, doesn't it just feel like I'm playing on such another level just from like applying this much RNG to the game? It's hilarious. I could not play as an original not crack up. Oh yeah, I would be laughing my ass off. And I would be like, I'd be like talking to my phone like, look at this guy, both of his shit's attracted. Like, hey, I would hate to play it. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's going to be awesome. Oh, mobilized by love. Yo, can we go two for two? Two for two. I love to see it. This is the best team ever. The best team ever. Yo, I love Attract. <laughs> oh, it doesn't get much better than that. It really doesn't get much better than that. Sableye can come. Tyranitar can come. I don't want to bring Corsola because our whole team is, like, weak. My whole team's, like... Um, yeah, Corsola, like, T-Tar, Mimikyu, Grimmsnarl, another Corsola, like, uh, Corsola would be really hard to use here, but Butterfree, Tranitar, really good, 
Uh, Sableye is still quite good, and then I'm thinking Togekiss or Excadrill. I actually think the Excadrill is just a little bit better. But the only issue then would be I can't really grind out the Corviknight. So maybe I don't bring Sableye. Maybe I bring Togekiss instead of the Sableye. So uh, I go Butterfree, Tyranitar, uh, Excadrill, Togekiss. Let's try that. I like that. Let's try those. Hmm. Hope you have an awesome new year, dude. I'm trying my best. Yo, I got my shift covered. I'll see you in Dallas. Yo, it's awesome to hear you see us in Dallas. We'll be at Dallas Regionals. Coming up relatively soon. Lock this team in. Happy New Year, bro. Hoping for lots of streams this year. I mean, I stream almost every day. I stream I stream like four or five days a week. So, we're definitely here for you guys. What did his rank go back up? I have no clue. I have no clue, but you know, we're just playing some games. You know, all the people are playing on casual battles. So, it's not like you're actually getting a devalued experience. It's actually really smart the way they did this because you can actually test things before rank goes up in a format that's pretty much just ranked. So we see a uh, Grim Snarl and Mimikyu. So what I could do with this Butterfree is go for Sleep Powders, right? But like if Mimikyu Dynamaxes and goes for like a Max Starfall, well, you know, it's gonna set the Misty Terrain and I can't go for Sleep Powder. But you know what you can do in this situation? You actually can is, oh, pop the Attract. Oh, pop the Attract. Ah, oh, the Double Attract Poggers. The double attract poggers. Uh, obviously, Mimikyu outspeeds both of our Pokemon, but Grimstyle is going for a fake out, huh? Oh, fake out or Butterfree. Hate to see it. Is he going to trick room me? Yo, are you going to trick room me? Go for it, Chief. I don't even care. I think he's trick room me because it's slower than my T Tar. Uh, trick room's totally fine. Nah, I don't care. I don't care at all. Like, you're a fool to trick room me. Yeah, I'm just going to. I, I underspeed a Mimikyu, so it's like, okay. Okay, USA. All right, let me actually think about what I want to get done here. Would he be... Would he be switching out the Mimikyu? For... for uh, I actually think I'm going to Sleep Powder the Mimikyu slot. He could still Dynamax, right? He could. I think what I'm going to do is Sleep Powder that slot, and I'm actually going to protect with my T-Tar, right? Am I, am I crazy there? Because I'm thinking about protecting in case he wants to Dynamax and, like, Max Starfall me. No, if he's going to just stay in. What nature was the T-Tar? Sorry. The T- Sorry, the T- Oh, uh, Rhyperior was a female. Perfect. This is fine. I will just attract then. Uh, I'm thinking he's going to either switch out the Mimikyu or do something like that. I think you actually just protect with uh, T-Tar this turn. Are you going to turn of 6v6 singles? Yo, we'll do it eventually. I'm always much better at 6v6 and 3v3. I mean, why not be good at both? Any recommendations for a new ranked player? Just play with what you like. Just play with your favorites, yo. All right, Grimpel's going to get a foul play. You hate to see it. Oh, and he hits the Butterfree with a foul play. What? What? And the will was blocked. Blocked, boys. And you know what? The double attracts is up. Now, you could definitely switch, but, like, you're wasting the turns on your own trick room, my guy. You're wasting your own trick room this way. Now, let me think what I actually want to do here. I kind of want to Dynamax with my Butterfree. Because it's like, I can just apply status here. I think I'm actually just going to go for a Sleep Powder onto the Grimmsnarl. Because I think Grimmsnarl is actually packing a lot more punch. And we're just going to go for a rock slide. All right. Let's go. He's staying in. Can you not? Oh, my gosh. The power of love is not doing too hot this game. All right. Rock slide. Yo, can we flinch the Mimikyu? I'd love to flinch that Mimikyu. Give me that big flinch, yo. The flinch and immobilize. Let's see. Survey says... Is that eject button? Red card. What? No way! Oh, that's so busted. Oh, man, that's so good. A uh, good thing, like, we're sleep powdering this, uh, the Grimstyle this turn after we've already, he's already attacked. Eject button. Oh, my gosh. What is this game? What is this eject button red card? What is... I mean, he's switching in on a sleep powder. So, like, I don't think you should go to Picolytics. I think you should figure out spreads for yourself. Right here, switching in. Yo, you know what? Mimikyu gets the flinch and the sleep powder. <laughs> Yo, this game is actually crazy. This game is actually crazy right now. Uh, we're gonna pop another attract. Um, I think I'm gonna go for just oh, oh, Iron Head onto the Mimikyu. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty nuts, right? Pretty nuts. So we have a tracked up on Mimikyu. Right here is asleep. That was one of the craziest turns of Pokemon you've ever seen. Come on, you can you please not burn me? 
That's right. Immobilized by love. And you know what? Love is in the air. Attract's still popping it off, yo. Oh, man. Attract is so good. Iron head busted. Wasted. You can bring that Grimstone back out, but like, bro. I triple dog dare you bring that Grimstone back out see what happens to it. I mean, he's just going to fake out. But you know what I'm going to do? Dynamax. Da 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 Dynamax. I remember that. That right period is super... Uh, immobilized right now. He's immobilized and asleep. We're in a pretty good spot, if you ask me. So we're going to try to sleep powder this uh, Grim Snarl, and I'm going to Dynamax here, and I'm going to start trying to hit that uh, Rhyperior. I'm going to go for the Steals. I know we're going to be proccing a weakness policy. I think that's fine. All right, let's go. I think he's going to fake out the Excadrill. What's the numbers on track? 50% of the time, every time. That's so good. 50-50. You love rolling that dice. He's Dynamaxing the right period, which is the right play. Because if he didn't, he would just get dumpstered. Does Salt Vessel work small Dynamax? It does. It definitely does. So he has to try to wake up this turn and risk being immobilized by love. It's definitely going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard. Let's see if he goes for a fake out on my extra drill. He should be fake outing my extra drill. He might be just like, you know, what is that move? Spirit breaking my butter free? He might. He definitely could be. He could also be popping a reflect this turn. Those would all suck. But, you know, we have the power of love and RNG on our hands. And I don't know, I don't know if, he, if he's ready for this. Are you ready for this? Let's see if he's popping a reflect. Fake out. Yo. He fake out of my butter free. Yo, he's so good. And he woke up. Are you kidding? He got the fake out and he woke up. But you know what? Immobilized by love. Wasting your Dynamax turns. Oh, he's not wasting his Dynamax turns. What? This guy's so lucky. He's so lucky. Oh my god. I've never seen the man so lucky in my entire life. Have you have you ever seen someone so lucky? I'm serious. He's so lucky. Oh man, that sucks. That sucks. And now we're proccing a weakness policy. Oh, man. That is quite lucky. I think I seen you send a Tokus, right? Let me think about this. Measure turn Oh, just kidding. It's a Ranitar time. Yeah, let's go. His heart is made of rock. Solid rock. Alright. No berries for you. Oh shit! I sent out the Tyranitar. It can't attract that Pokemon. I messed this one up. I mean, it's fine. We just need to go for, like, Crunch. Like, and a Steel Spike. And he could totally, like, max... He could just pop a Reflect and we'll be bad. Oh, we have to do this, so... It's alright. I don't know if that Grimstone has Protect... Or, yeah, he has, like, Foul Play... Fake out light screen. I don't know if he has reflect as his last move. Or if it's like some sort of status move. It could be like Thunder Wave or something. And if he wants to Thunder Wave our T-Tar. Well, we'll proc our Lumberry. And we'll be pretty good. Let's see it though. Reflect. No, he's so good. He's so lucky and so good. Ah. Oh, well. I mean, I'm getting a double defense boost. Which means we might be able to... Yeah, we're not We're not going to live. But we. he can't just like nuke all of our stuff, right? So we should be able to outspeed... With our, our Tranitar. I mean, max ground would KO our Excadrill, I think. Give me a crit. Oh, that doesn't do shit for damage. Max Quake. Yeah, he's going for the Excadrill. I think that's alright. Oh, what? We lived? Yo, the power of the... Like, he weakness policy, but we got a double defense boost. I cannot believe we lived that. Can you believe we lived that? What is that living? What even is that? Holy moly. Dummy thick. Uh, let me think about what I want to do in this situation. I will definitely be attracting this Grim Snarl. And going for... I mean, he's going to go max guard. Probably. He's going to be max guarding. Let me think. Do I want the special D-boost or another defense boost? What's his mons in the back? Does he have any special attackers? He doesn't have any, so I might as well just get defense boosts. Like, just continue with what I was doing, you know? He's probably just going to max guard. And if he max guards, uh... Oh, he doesn't. I'll just take those, then. I'll just take those, then. Yo, we be taking those. Plus three defense. I, you know it'd be hilarious if I lived a foul play. That'd be so raw. 
Excadrill T-Tar dummy thick right now. Duh, 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 dummy thick. All right, right, Peter, going down for the count. All right, let's see it. What you got, Chief? Attract? Oh, I'm faster than you. I love attract. It's so good. All right, come on. Let me get a little bit of, like, let me get a little bit of luck. No! Never lucky. All right. Oh, never lucky. It's okay. The attract's already up. Now, the hard part's actually getting the attract up. Remember, he has a reflect, and I think he has... All right, the light screen's off. Perfect. Just in time for this thing. Oh, just in time for one of these. All right, let's see what he has in the last month. Survey says Togekiss versus Terminator 5. What is this Pokemon? Titar. Uh-oh. I can't attract it. It's a female, which means not bueno. Rock slide and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna air slide. He already proc'd his weakness policy, so I'm just gonna D gleam. Sucks that there's still a uh, stance room going on, but we should be able to kill the Grimstarl and the uh we should be able to kill the Grimstarl with this double AoE attack, and we might be able to flinch his T Tar. Uh, we have a little bit of investment in speed, remember he is made for Trick Room. So I can't use a tract on it, but remember my T Tar has a plus three defense boost. He's going for protects. Yo, let me just take out your Grimstarl so I can deal single target damage next turn. I'd love it. He's trying to go for a light screen here, but is he mobilized? He's immobilized by love. That's what I'm talking about, yo. That is exactly what I'm talking about. And if he wants to proc some sort of, like, Ayapapa Berry or some weird shit, even though I'm pretty sure he's light, light clay, he won't be able to. He will not. Please just KO. I don't think it will, but, like, please. Come on, Sandstorm! Give me that big Sandstorm tick. All right, Tokus is faster than the Grimstone, just in case that mattered. Oh, Grimstone, the big Sandstorm tick, yo. Biggest. He set that Sandstorm. That's all him. He said it. Love strikes again. Yo, the power of love. The book of love is long and boring. No one can read the damn thing. Battles cancel. We take those wins. Attract. That's right. Yo, put those wins up for attract. Y'all may not think it's very good. It's so good. You just haven't had, like, no one's played against it.